So first one, uh, we are going to see sickness in small business. So any entrepreneur, whether he is going to start a business, he will not be starting immediately in a large scale. So he is going to start the business in a very, very small scale because he will not, he will never know whether the business is going to be successful or not. So he will not take a risk, okay? So for that, he will start his business only as a small business. Okay, so from uh, unit one to four, we have seen all these topics. So what is the uh, entrepreneur? What are the factors influencing an entrepreneurship? What are the characteristics of an entrepreneur? Motivation and development programs uh, for developing entrepreneurship uh, quality in individuals, process involved in setting up business and sources of finance. So we have seen all these topics uh, uh, in units one to four. Now, sometimes uh, even after giving all these trainings, even after uh, giving all the necessary funding and other things, sometimes the uh, all enterprise will fall sick. Sick means it doesn't mean that how physically we will fall sick. Sick means it is not going to run in a desired way or it is not going to produce the required amount of profit which was predicted. Okay, so it is not in a healthy atmosphere or it is not the growth is not healthy per se in respect to the growth what you have predicted. So sickness means erodes the health of an enterprise. So uh, you might you might not get projects, or you your work might not be appreciable, or whatever products you develop, uh, it does not have a good market for the customers. So anything can lead to sickness in small business. So you know when sickness comes, it has to be cured and removed. So you get a fever, you take tablets and ensure that the fever is not there. The same way, whenever uh, you have a sick enterprise, you need to take action immediately initially to cure it and then completely the sickness should be get rid of from the business because continuing the business with sickness is not a good uh, thing for the enterprise so initially the sickness has to be cured and then it has to be removed completely from the enterprise so that it is going to have a healthy atmosphere for uh, growing so what is sickness so how do you define sickness? So sick industry means it is viewed from financial angle. Mostly, majority of the cases, I'm going to relate sickness with finance only. So I'm going to relate sickness with finance. Okay. Uh, might be the amount you invested and the amount what you got back. It's not in a good ratio. The performance of an industry is easily measured, calculated, and understood through financial results only. You invested one crore, but you are able to get only 50 lakhs back. So 50 lakhs is going to be the loss. So I can say it is 50% loss. So that is a sick thing from financial aspect. A sick industry means it is not financially healthy. So uh, other things might be good. Technically, you might have a very good people. The production might be very good. But financially, if you are not able to get back, the amount what you invested uh, in the enterprise is still going to be called as the term sick only. So what is a healthy unit? Earns a reasonable return on capital invested, builds reserves after providing depreciation. So in health, healthy unit is defined in such a way that whatever you invest, you get a reasonable return. See, everybody will not get 100%. Uh, 100%. Everybody cannot make profit over above the amount they return. Uh, they get return from the uh, business, right? So reasonable return on capital one, one lakh I invested, I got one lakh twenty thousand back. Twenty thousand is a reasonable profit what you make in a given year. So that is what is uh, called as a healthy unit. You have a reasonable return on the capital invested, and uh, with that twenty thousand, you will be building your that you will be building your reserves. So again, that one lakh you will be investing, you will be getting one lakh fifty thousand. So your reserve is previously you have. 5k now you have 50k you reserve a reserve uh, fund has grown to 75k correct so when you have a healthy unit the return on uh, investment is going to be reasonable and uh, you are going to build your reserve after providing depreciation you know whenever you have any industry when you are dealing with machines that definitely there will be something called as depreciation because the value of everything will depreciate or reduce as the number of years pass through correct so you will be building the reserve after providing the necessary depreciation. 